Hi everyone, this is Joanna. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to make a pendant using some scraps. And uh, these are a couple of scraps that I have from my past uh, projects. You kind of don't want, or I didn't want to have a lot of white in it. I kind of want to have solid colors. I am also going to use a cane that I made in my past video and I'm going to link it in my description. Uh, so basically we are going to roll these into a bowl and I'm going to be using I think this was like a sunset pendant that I made a while back and then you're going to take the cane and you're going to slice it and we are going to cover our balls with it just like this. Okay, so now that my balls are covered, you just want to go and roll them out. Now, I've seen the, this technique done by Kate Gordon. If you have not watched her channel, you should, because her techniques are very, very easy to follow. I really love how she creates beautiful pendants and anyone else can do it too so all right um, so these are my little balls I'm going to grab my um, my little clear block for my stamping and I'm going to start rolling it and as Kate will tell you you kind of want to find a spot on the grid which the grid is on top this is this is flat that you want to keep it in the center but uh, it's not working out for me very well so you kind of want to roll it just like that yeah I'm I'm definitely traveling but as you are going to be rolling it all those the design will start changing and you're going to get a beautiful beautiful twist and you can stop and start going again and the more you roll the more twist you are going to get let me see you see that so let's do just a little bit more and you can actually go on both sides and see which side you like better too. Okay, so oh and I am so crooked. You can it can <laughs> you can see that I'm not an expert at it. It is fun to do though. But I really like it. I really, really love it how this is all starting to come in a twist and but you still have somewhat of a design on top, I mean on the sides. So just a little bit more and I think I'm going to be done with it. And it actually should be um, in the shape of a circle, but you obviously are noticing that it's not working out for me <laughs> oh my gosh okay there you go alright so let me just roll it out a little bit the reason why the center is a little bit dark what is because I must have had some dirt on the clear block and you can decide which side you like better if you like this or that Gonna roll it out just a little bit. 
Now the cane is white and uh, translucent. So when I'll bake it, it will have a beautiful, it's going to get this beautiful translucent look, or it should at least. Yeah, this is still a little bit thick, so let me roll it out just a little bit more. So I decided to use my oval cutter to cut the pendant out. I thought it, it would look the nicest and also Katie Gordon used that very similar shape as well. And uh, now I'm taking my leftovers and I'm just playing with them to see if I can create something. And uh, I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you ever do that? I have come up with some of the neatest pendants with my leftovers. So we'll see how this one is going to come out. Okay, so now I'm just grabbing the other piece of clay, the red, orange, and yellow, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Roll it out, flatten it, and see what kind of a pendant I can come up with this one. And after I will cut out the pendant from this clay, my pendants will be ready to go in the oven at 260 degrees for 30 minutes and they will get a nice coat of resin on top as well. Okay, so I want to show you guys how the pendants have turned out. So here they are already baked and I added resin on top and I think that they came out so, so neat. Now, a couple of things. I think that when you are using the cane, like I did, you don't want to continue going too far in because then you are going to lose the design on the outside. So it's kind of, kind of looks nice that there's still something in those spots right here so I think that maybe I could have rolled it just a little bit less I don't know I think it came out so so neat I wonder if I should maybe wire wrap it it kind of screams for a wire wrap I'm not quite sure yet though and this one here is the one that I just took the leftovers and I put them uh, together so there you go uh, it looks like I don't know what it looks like <laughs> It looks like leftovers that you put together into a pendant. I don't know, but I added resin on it too. I really like the colors. So, Katie Gordon, thank you so much for inspiring me to make uh, this pendant. And I hope that I inspired you guys to make more pendants because I totally can see how you can just run wild with it, especially with the darker colors. I think the darker colors are... Uh, the main thing here because with the cane where you have the white and the translucent You definitely would like you need some kind of a darker color underneath and make sure that when you do use a cane That there is translucent in it mine has translucent and white and like I said I'm going to put in the description below um, The video where I actually made that cane was a super super simple anyways my friends hope you enjoyed this video until next time Ta-ta!